presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to connect ProPresenter 7 to Zoom. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever been in a situation where you needed to connect ProPresenter to Zoom, or you thought, I really wish I could connect ProPresenter to Zoom so that I could do some more stuff, Go ahead, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So ProPresenter is really powerful. And so there are some great times to use it with third-party products like Zoom. But how do you do it? Well, there are some gotchas that I want to tell you about, and including one that... It should work, but I'm having trouble getting it to work. So maybe you could uh, help me out in the comments below if you've figured out how to do this one thing that should work, but I'm not having any luck getting it to work. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter, and um, first thing I'm going to do is something I don't do very often. I'm going to quit ProPresenter. So... Let's go ahead and make sure I select that, quit, and go ahead. And the reason that I'm doing that is because Zoom needs to take a hold of all the video sources first before something else like ProPresenter. ProPresenter can come in second, but Zoom needs to come in first. So let's go ahead and I'm going to launch Zoom. and drag it over here from my other monitor. Okay, now I should be able to tweak some of the settings so that this works. So first off, I'm gonna go into Zoom here and hit Preferences. And I think I've got that exact same problem. It came over on the wrong screen. Yeah, sure did. Okay, so here we are in preferences. And what we need to do is select video right here. Okay, so we've got some options. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use Cam Twist here in just a second if you're on a Mac, but if you're not, there are a couple of other things that you can do. First off, of course, you can do screen sharing. That probably goes without saying. So if you're using Zoom on the same computer, you could go ahead and do that. Um, NDI Video, this is the one that I had trouble getting to work. And I think what would probably work is if I had ProPresenter sending NDI from another computer onto this computer. But I haven't uh, had a chance to test that. Um, if you have a Blackmagic device that's uh, being used as a capture card, so uh, probably the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Recorder 3G, I happen to have one right here, or in this case, I'm using the DeckLink Duo 4. That would work. So notice that we get me recorded uh, over and over. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select Cam Twist. And then go over here and I have already selected Siphon inside of CamTwist. CamTwist is a free download for Mac. It's an open source project. Uh, so once you install that, you can select Siphon and then select the Siphon server. Right now, only CamTwist is showing. But now that we've got Zoom up and running, we can go over into ProPresenter. Okay. So now I've got that up and running, and you'll notice, oh wait, that uh, color has changed. And the reason for that is because if we go into screens, configure screens, 
will find that I have an NDI or siphon output here set to siphon and the screen color is set to that same color here so I know that I'm getting a signal I haven't actually selected anything to send to it just yet so let's do that here um, Maybe let's send Amazing Grace. Why not? This is uh, something that I've been playing with. Maybe I'll show you how to do this. This is a similar thing to a tutorial that uh, Brad did with uh, one of the official tutorials from Renewed Vision. So I'm going to just click on that. And now you see that here in Zoom, what I have selected here, and let's go to my um, NDI or siphon output, you'll see that it's the same. And every time I change to a different slide, it changes here. So that's another way to get that into Zoom. So basically, we've got three ways. You can, maybe four. Yeah, four. You can do a screen capture if you're, you've got the uh, sharing option here for share screen. You can do that. That's one way. Way number two is you can um, go ahead and capture it with a capture card like the Blackmagic Decklink Duo. Any of the outputs also can be captures or an Ultra Studio Recorder 3G, for example. Or you can send it over NDI. Again, I'm having trouble doing it on the same machine. Normally, you can send NDI over the same machine. Um, let me just show you exactly the problem that I'm having. Screens, configure screens. If I change siphon here to NDI, let's do that one. Notice that went away because uh, Cam Twist isn't getting it, but I select NDI video, I don't get anything. I think it would probably work if NDI was already sending out from another computer and then Zoom popped up but in my tests, I had trouble doing it on the same computer. So that's another way to do it. And finally, if you've got Cam Twist and the Mac version, then you can send it out Siphon, capture it with Cam Twist, and then uh, um, Zoom will see that as if it's a webcam. So those are um, all the different ways that you could do that with ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, and quick. Give me your name and email address, and then I'll make a login for you automatically so that you can take that uh, class whenever you want. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.